Welcome Aquarius to your October 2020 bonus love reading. Hope everyone is doing well. I do want to thank everyone for subscribing and supporting my channel. I'm truly thankful. I truly am. Okay, let's go ahead and pull a love oracle for you guys. Again, this is for October 2020 bonus love reading. Okay, see what messages are coming through. Also, uh, I wanted to, if you guys can keep in mind, this reading may not resonate with everyone. So take what resonates. Okay. Let's see what message it's coming through here. Oh, okay. Really? <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got two. Sorry about that loud pound I just did. Okay, so we do have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so those are your messages. And let's go ahead and get into your reading. These have already been shuffled. All right, Ooh. let's see what your present situation is. Present situation. These are so slippery. Okay, present situation for Aquarius. For October 2020 love reading. All right, so we have the Two of Cups, so partnership. All right, so the Two of Cups here in your present situation. This can be a soul connection, a strong partnership, soulmate type energy. Next card is the King of Wands, is this crossing energy. It's the second time this card came up underneath the energies of these two cards. The message here is everything is fine. This is the Ten of Swords. Okay, so endings of any type of emotional or mental stress, everything is going to be fine, okay? So we have the Two of Cups, King of Wands, and the crossing energy. The King of Wands, um, is a fire sign. So that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. See why all of this is happening. Okay, we got two cards. We have the Two of Swords and the Empress. Okay, so it looks like someone is about is indecisive, not seeing clearly. Um, it could be. The Empress, why all this is happening. So this is, uh, could be a mother figure. This also is um, divine feminine energy. She's abundant. She has it all, okay? She has it all. And then this is the Two of Swords. So making a decision, it could be indecisiveness on why all this is happening. So let's see what's in the past. What is the past energy? I just love the art on these cards. Past energy is this offer, okay. Got an offer here from the past energy from a Knight of Cups, could be a water sign, doesn't have to be. Um, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces, okay. Let's see, why is this affecting you? How is this affecting you? Ooh, okay, so how it's affecting you, it could feel a little bit too fast. Um, could be that type of energy where the person yeah, is, is moving way too fast. We do have this Knight of Swords and this Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a water sign. Um, Again, the water sign is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
And then we do have this Knight of Swords coming in. It's kind of like a rush type feeling that's coming in quickly. Um, this could be your energy wanting to rush in and see, you know, wanting to know what's going on within this type of relationship because it, your emotions and your thoughts are coming up as the king of uh, the queen of cups so you could be emotionally wanting to ask you know kind of the feeling like where is this going since it's regarding in the past this offer and you are currently in a decision mode here so you could be feeling um very sensitive about a situation um at this time right now you could be feeling a little um sad uh, a little bit of depression here wanting to know kind of like that feeling of where is it going <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, go get into your immediate future what's coming towards you Okay, I thought a card flipped. Sorry about that. So what is coming towards Aquarius? This does feel like a... Um... Oh, we have the King of Cups. Okay, okay. And the Chariot on what's coming towards you in the immediate future. So it looks like you guys will both be taken off together That if you haven't already. There is a lot of passion in this situation. Definitely a lot of passion. But also, you want to know if the emotional part is there. So, um, this King of Cups is the guy who is ready to take it to the next level. He's very most, uh, emotionally involved. And then we do have the chariot on uh, the underneath energy of this king of cups like okay let's go ahead ready to take challenges ready to go and um go on those that that next level with you like whatever it takes type feeling and then we have the outcome so this could be the romantic feelings here And this could, you could reverse the rules. If it does not fit, you could always reverse the rules too. Come on. <laughs> what is the outcome? <laughs> Let's see. One second. It does not, the outcome does not want to come out right now. Come on. Sorry about this. Sometimes the cards, oh, there we go. Okay. The outcome is the nine, nine of pentacles. And we have the Nine of Swords here in the overall energy. So the overall energy, somebody is having sleepless nights here. You could be fed up for being single. You know, it's, um, that's another energy we have here is feeling fed up um, with a situation Cunning wanting to know what is going on. But in your immediate future with the chariot, if you are uh, wondering, you know, if this person is taking you seriously or have emotional um, type feeling, or maybe you feel like this person is coming in too fast and feeling like, you know, this is just overwhelming. This, oh, this overall King of Cups and this passion between this two of cups energy and obviously a very mature empress here on why everything is happening is yes this person is stable so if you're feeling type of anxiety it does feel like this the and, and maybe of being single and you're just fed up with um, maybe the dating world or you know kind of wasting like you feel like you're wasting some time you know, it, it honestly, it, this looks like a very good reading. So if this, if you are dealing with a, um, a water sign or anybody who is uh, a Pisces, um, oh my goodness, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, I mean, it, it doesn't have to be, but 
then definitely this is someone that is very serious and would like to take it to the next level. Okay, so we have the Nine of Swords here on why all this is happening. It seems like you're very stressed out. We do have Love Yourself here and Romantic Feelings. So again, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then you have Romantic Feelings here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? And then on the bottom of the deck, if this one, this feels like it helps, playful, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay. All right, Aquarius, that is your reading for October 2020, your bonus love reading. I hope this resonates. If it does, please like, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.